After going back and looking at the film, uh, much of the same thoughts I had uh, after the game. Uh, very proud of our guys and how hard they played. It, uh, it's heartbreaking to have uh, the effort that, uh, that we're getting um, and uh, to come up short like that. But we played a very, very good football team. There's two really good teams going at it. Um, probably the best offensive team that we played since, uh, since Notre Dame. Uh, the big time tailback, uh, quarterback was uh, tough. I mean, took some shots and it really was impressive. Um, you know, it was uh, uh, a close ball game. It was a game where uh, it came down basically to, you know, a couple plays. And, uh, you know, uh, I think the difference in the game was uh, came in halftime. We had 100% ball security. We uh, had not turned the ball over. We had not had a penalty. And we had basically, uh, uh, you know, turned the ball over twice inside our own 30 in the second uh, half. And that was the difference in the football game. Uh, resulted in 10 points. And, and that, uh, that hurt us. Uh, so um, it was a very, very close game. I mean, we, we uh, come out on the short end of most of those uh, this year. That's been disheartening. It's obviously not what we're after. Uh, but uh, I was very, very proud of our guys. Very proud of the, how hard they're playing. They continue to play hard. Uh, it was uh, a very tough one to swallow because we felt like the whole time we'd win, win the football game. Our guys were really focused on, on uh, having a ranked opponent and having an opportunity to have a big win. Thought defensively uh, was, uh, was, you know, again they they had some yards and some things like I think they finished up with 366 yards, but you know really a very physical game. I mean their their the tailback Pete was a very physical runner, very. You know, I mean it was, it was hard fall up front, uh, um, and I thought thought our guys got after it well. You know got two takeaways. Uh, our guys have been stellar on third down. I mean uh, uh, the coach Patterson and, and uh, the defense be commended on on the, the, the performance because it was uh, against a very, very good offense. So uh, I thought those guys played well enough to win. And uh, obviously just the, 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 the mental errors that we made late, turning the football over was a difference. I was really proud of Lindsey. I thought Lindsey played probably one of his best football games. Um, Miles was unbelievable. I think he had nine tackles, something like that. Uh, played really, really well. Uh, K1, I uh, thought the secondary K1 and Reed, the two corners, uh, very, very good receiving core. Those guys did a great job. K1 had a big pick for us. Uh, Holly continues to play uh, exceptional. Special teams, I want to point out uh, Shane Gordon was absolutely outstanding uh, on, on, on special teams. Really proud of his development and, and the effort that we're getting out of him. That kickoff cover team is impressive. Thought our, uh, our punt team uh, played well. Uh, Yakla continues to, to do a good job punting the football for us. Um, Got coverage teams where our guys were really uh, had a great uh, focus and attitude about going down and and, uh, and, and getting after them on special teams. The return game was we miss we mishandled three of five uh, uh, kickoff returns that, that really hurt us and started us back inside our own 20. Uh, that hurt us. I, I was proud of Harper. I thought Harper <coughs> made three field goals and in the last attempt we had kind of a bad snap and he didn't get a good we didn't get a real good attempt at it. It wasn't a real bad snap. It was just enough to throw him off. But I was. I was proud of how he played. Um, so I thought our special teams was, was, was much better than it had been the week before. Our return games are the big focus. we gotta, we got to get better on. I thought offensively, I mean, internally, you know, he pretty much doesn't practice all week and plays on, on Saturday. Uh, the courage that he's showing is, is, is unbelievable in what, what he's uh, doing for our team and to play each week. Uh, very impressed with him. Uh, you know, I thought Zach Brown was outstanding. I thought Zach played really, really well, ran the ball extremely hard. And Isaac Bennett was, was uh, really a, a bright spot. I mean, he <coughs> and, uh, obviously, you know, uh, didn't, you know, as far as experience and knowing what he's doing, uh, just came in and attacked. It was very aggressive, so I was very, very proud of him. And I thought Devin Street played, played well. We, we had way too many mental errors offensively. Uh, we had uh, mental errors in routes and running the wrong routes and things like that. Uh, and we, said, well, we, had, we had way too many mental errors. Uh, in, in a game where you're, uh, uh, you got to be disciplined to have an opportunity to win. So uh, uh, obviously, we're, we're our guys. Uh, you, there's no time to, to sit around and uh, uh, to, to look backward. We have to look forward. Uh, our guys, uh, we got a very uh, uh, well coached football team uh, in Louisville that we have to go up against this week. Uh, they won three straight. Uh, they're uh, I think they only have one loss in the, in the conference. A uh, team that is playing very very well, riding high right now. Uh, a team that's really got, to, you can tell, playing well together as a unit. Uh, got a freshman quarterback that's going to be unbelievable, going to be an outstanding player. The 
has gotten better every single week, and they're, they're, they're the best defense in the league. I think they're the number one in the, in the conference in total defense, and uh, Coach Strong does a tremendous job. They're well coached. Uh, they're on fire right now, and we've got to go into Louisville. And our guys understand we've got a lot to play for, and uh, you never know what's going to happen in this league. Uh, the bottom line, we, we've got to go out and we've got to play uh, uh, you know, pit football and get our guys back and, and figure out a way to get a win on the road. It's not going to be a – it's going to be a tall order because of, of, of the of where they're playing at right now. And uh, the bottom line is that if we'll correct the things that we're doing wrong, uh, we're going to have an opportunity to win the football game. So we're, uh, our guys are excited and uh, uh, had a, a great attitude about it. Uh, uh, you know, it is uh, obviously disappointing. We're just not where we want to be. Uh, but uh, we feel like that uh, we've, uh, we've got a good, strong foundation with our guys. And we've got great relationships. And our guys are focused uh, hard on not making any excuses and moving forward and going and getting the win to do that. Questions? Cardo, I mean, obviously, you know, a lot could happen. Please see. I, you know, it, it's like, uh, you know, I, I told our players the other day, you know, I, I, I really, uh, uh, this is a special bunch of seniors. Uh, when I came in here, you know, I really reached out to them and, and told them about what our commitment is. I think we showed our commitment to them. Uh, we, we, we burned Isaac's red shirt. Uh, because we want the opportunity to win now. <clears throat> we're obviously not, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, we're committed to that. And they've been committed to me, and, and they're, they're just a great bunch of uh, young men. And, uh, uh, you know, they don't get another senior year. You know, uh, obviously, uh, you know, good Lord willing, I'll get another shot to, uh, you know, next year. You know, you, you, know you, never, you never know what the next day brings, you know. But, uh, uh, you know, as long as I'm live and kicking, you know, I'm probably going to get another shot next year. So, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, it, you know, my heart goes out to them because that's obviously not what I want it uh, to be. And we're not, I don't believe we're a four and five football team. Uh, when I came up and talked to you guys at the beginning of the year, I said we had to win a lot of close football games. And we've just, we've lost every close game. And that's, that, that's leadership. That's uh, obviously not being, uh, if, you, if I put one finger on it, it'd just be a lack of execution, uh, which is a result of, of just not being disciplined in our system and what we're doing. Uh, and that's leadership. You know, that's our job as coaches. I believe. I believe leadership wins those close games. So, uh, uh, you know, I, uh, you know, it's uh, it's t it's tough for me because I, that's what I think about. I think about this team, this season, and what we're doing, getting better every day. But we've got strong relationships. We've, we've laid a great foundation there, and, and I think that the, the, the future is, is bright for us because of that. And I'm not talking about next year. I'm talking about the next three games. Our guys know that we've been. Very, very close. It's, it's just been very, boy, it's just gut wrenching because you know, that uh, we were very, very close and, and really beat ourselves uh, uh, with, with the turnovers. And that, that's tough to, to swallow when you got guys uh, that are laying on the line, uh, uh, especially our guys defensively, and especially those seniors. You know, those seniors mean a lot to me. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, that, they don't get enough years. So that's, that, that's kind of my, my thought process there. Todd, you're talking about wanting to kind of move forward, but how do you balance the moving forward and kind of looking back? It's like last game kind of as a as a lesson of here's what we don't want to do moving forward. Yeah, I don't think we played poorly or terrible last game. I think we played a really good football team, and uh, we turned the football over twice uh, and, and beat ourselves, we really beat ourselves there. But uh, I think uh, there were a lot of bright spots in that game. There's a lot of uh, things to look at and say, you know, LA, we got guys really playing at an incredible level. When you look at the how hard our guys are playing, uh, and, and guys like uh, uh, Greg Gaskins, a guy that, uh, you know, sleeper who was 14 coming in, to, that is just laying the line. Obviously, we didn't play very good up front on line this one. Uh, we, we, you know, we, we struggled there, uh, and uh, we've had some, you know, some injuries and things like that that's contributed to that. Uh, but the, the hard, our guys are playing hard. Uh, that, that's, what, that's how life is. It does you no good to sit and look behind you learn from your mistakes. We point those things out each week, and we, we go and we get better. We persevere. And uh, anything worth having is not easy. It's difficult. And obviously, it's not been easy. Obviously, it hasn't gone the way we planned. Uh, but we're not far off, and we know we're close. And what you do, you just keep plugging. But you don't break. You just keep plugging. And uh, and uh, you know, a lot of people quit right before they accomplish something great. But I, I can tell you, there's absolutely zero wood in us. Uh, there's not anybody hanging their head around here. Uh, you know, they understand that. Uh, uh, you know, take full accountability for what we're doing, and we're moving forward and getting better each day. Coach, on that, 
All right, fourth down and six on the second to last drive. You called the timeout. Was that to decide between going for the field goal or going for an fourth down? Or do you knew when you called the timeout that you were going to go for it? It was just a matter of getting the right play. Yeah, we wanted to make sure we had the right play. We knew we were going to go for it. We felt like we had it. We, we called the play we wanted to call. We got had Devin on the fade. It's a play that we had a lot of confidence in. Uh, we just, you know, didn't uh, didn't execute. Didn't execute. That's all I can tell you. I mean, it was a deal that was no doubt in my mind what we needed to do there. Uh, they had to do it again. It was the exact same thing uh, because uh, I think it was a, a situation it was fourth and sixth. We felt like it was manageable. We thought we had the right matchup. They played man coverage, played one on one, had our best guy, and uh, a throw that we made 100 times in practice, and we just didn't execute it.